All right, so for this video, we are gonna edit in iMovie. First thing you wanna do is open iMovie, click the plus in the upper left-hand corner, and then you wanna go in and select the video clips that you're going to edit. Here, I've recorded several videos, pieces of videos that uh, I'm going to use on my channel, We Love RV Camping. So we head into the video section and pull up uh, all our videos and then try to find the ones we are specifically looking for. So no, we don't want the puppy videos. Uh, we're going to scroll back up to the top here and grab the RV video. So there's four of them there. You're just going to highlight each one and click the little check mark, and that's going to select them, and then you're going to click Create Movie uh, at the bottom of this screen. That's going to bring everything into your timeline, one right after the other. If you press and hold on the left side of the screen, uh, you can shoot all the way to the front, or if you're not dealing with overly long videos, you can actually just you know, manually scroll back the way that I'm doing here, but uh, either way will work. All right, so before we move forward with the edit, I just wanted to walk you around the interface a bit. Obviously, you can see the preview of the video at the top of the screen. You have your timeline across the bottom of the screen. You have your uh, line that runs down the center of the screen to show you where you're actually controlling the edit. Now, you can put your finger on the screen and actually drag the timeline back and forth so you can get to wherever you need to go. Uh, that's how you can navigate along the timeline. And then you have the plus in the upper left-hand corner just below that video. That's where you're going to go to add video clips, photos, audio, all of those things. You can even go in here to add a voiceover if you're doing a voiceover. We're not going to be doing one on this particular edit, but I wanted to show you where that was. Now on the screen, there's also another icon. It is the gear in the lower right hand corner. If you click on that, you'll see that you have some filter and theme options here. We're not going to use any of those in this particular video, but I wanted to show you where where they live as well. Uh, but we are going to look at some of the other controls that become available at the bottom of the screen when you click on a particular video clip. As you see, when you touch that particular video clip, you're going to get a menu that appears at the bottom. The first one is a pair of scissors. That's actually some edit functionality. You'll see you have split, detach, duplicate, and delete. Now, if you click on split, uh, it's going to split the video clip that you're on where that white guideline is currently resting. So that's something to keep in mind. Obviously, detach, we talked about before. Uh, if you want to undo a change, that little U facing uh, sideways in the lower right-hand corner below the video is how you undo. Uh, and then you can also use these other functions. Like I said, detach, which is going to take the audio and split it away from the actual video. Video clip, which is going to be helpful if you want to replace some of the video but keep the audio. Duplicate. Uh, if you have a reason to make two copies of the same video, you can certainly do that as well. Plus, once you have made an edit and you want to get rid of something, then you can hit the delete option. All right, next to the pair of scissors, you have that little uh, icon that kind of looks like a speedometer. You click on that. That's going to allow you to adjust the speed. If you want to speed up the cliff that you're on or slow it down, you have the options to go as fast as uh, 2x and as slow as an eighth speed. So depending on what you're looking to do, you can make those tweaks to the video on that particular menu as well. All right, next you have the volume control. Now, if you have multiple layers, this will allow you to control the audio for each layer. So if you have background music, you can adjust it if it's a little overbearing and interfering with uh, whoever's speaking or whatever the main focus of the video is, you can adjust that here. Now, it will, when you do multiple layers and you have audio, it will kind of put the background music lower than the um, main audio, but it's not always perfect. Next, you have the text option, which just allows you to add some animated text style styles uh, to your actual video. Now, this gives you a couple options, uh, half dozen options or so with some animations. Plus, it also allows you to, to adjust the positioning of these a little bit. Uh, you can basically, for most of them, you have the option to have it centered on the screen or to be kind of in the lower third area. So depending on what you're trying to do, uh, that will give you some functionality to add some text to your video. 
Next up, we have some filter options. Again, you can overlay these filters on a particular video clip, depending on the style that you're looking for. There's a variety of different options here as well. For this video though, we're not gonna get into any of these more artistic filters. And then basically what you're gonna do is decide where uh, the parts are that you wanna keep. Now we're on our first video clip, so we are scrolling through here, trying to find the section of the video that uh, where we actually wanna start. So typically the way that I'll do this is watch my mouth and I'll see when I complete a thought or I'm about to begin a thought and then I will back up and then I will leave that line there and click the split button at the bottom of the screen. That's going to break that video into two parts. Then I can highlight the one that I want to delete, highlight it and click the delete button at the bottom of the page. And essentially, this is a lot of the edit. That's the first thing that we wanna do as we work our way through is find the stuff that we're gonna keep in the video and get rid of the stuff that we aren't. Now, as we do this, we're going to try to pay attention to where these videos meet up with each other because we want it to be uh, as smooth as possible. In this particular video, uh, for some of the cuts, I'm actually using what is referred to as a jump cut, which is just an abrupt uh, move from one scene to another. Now, this can uh, look good or it can look awful if your timing is off. Uh, the jump cuts are intended to be kind of a quick transition. So if you leave too much on the video after you've said something and you're kind of just stand, sitting there staring at the camera, uh, then it looks really awkward and your cut doesn't uh, flow well. So we really want to, uh, again, look at your mouth or whatever it is that's going on, figure out where a natural endpoint is, use that split button at the bottom of the screen, and then... Uh, you can in fact remove that section. Now you just saw that I switched it to the dissolve transition. One of the things when you use something like the dissolve transition is that it overlaps the two videos. So if you have chopped something like you're going to jump cut and then you try to use the dissolve feature, it's actually going to cut off your words from the first clip that you're using. So you wanna make sure that you're leaving the amount of footage necessary for the transition that you're actually using. So that's something to keep, uh, be mindful of. And if you do in fact switch to one of those other transitions, make sure you rewind a little bit, play back the video and see exactly uh, how it looks and make sure, make sure you're listening to the video as well because you don't wanna cut off what you're saying. So again, most of the edit is going to be going through and cleaning that up. Uh, towards the end of this video, we're going to jump in and we're going to add some additional images uh, and uh, kind of enhance this video. We're also going to look at how you actually take the audio and split it away from the video so you can replace portions of the video with that audio. We're gonna work through this video and try to speed through the remaining edits, get that all situated, and then we'll show you exactly what it looks like uh, later on in this video. All right, so now I'm adding an additional clip. I've moved the camera to the top of the RV and I'm working on making a transition between these two. This is more of an opportunity to use something like a dissolve where you're actually switching scenery and you want to get that uh, uh, clean transition between the two. So what I've done here is I've actually uh, put the camera up on top of uh, where it is that I want to record from, which is on top of the RV, push the record button, and then I went back down the stairs and uh, tried to hide as much as possible and then came back up the stairs for the portion of the video that I'm going to use. And these are the kind of things that you have to think about when you're making your video. Be mindful of how you're going to edit videos while you're recording your videos, and that can certainly go a long way in helping you to get the best effect as possible. So here you can see I was just able to trim off the beginning and then uh, talk about uh, this portion of the video in the video and then uh, edit all the rest of it out. And again, we're not using any of this. This is just the portion where I'm actually moving the camera to where I want it and getting it set up for the next shot that I wanna get for the video. But uh, after that, we just simply do the same thing that uh, we did between the other scenes. Again, if you're gonna use that dissolve, you gotta make sure that you leave enough footage on that first clip so that the transition doesn't cut off the end of your words.
on this side. Now here's where we're going to go in and we're actually going to take the audio from this video and we're going to split it. And the reason, or we're going to detach it rather. The reason that we want to do this is because we want to replace some of this static video uh, with some images. In this case, I have some images of that uh, blocked AC that I'm doing this video on and I want to be able to share those. So when you click on that video, at the bottom of the screen there is the option to detach the audio and that creates that blue line at the bottom. And then you can simply drop in these photos and by default they're going to do this zoom in effect uh, that you can you know, kind of give you a little more interesting thing to look at than just the uh, standard static picture. You can adjust that however you want it, get it to move in the way that you want it. I left these as default just for simplicity, but you can certainly do that. Now the one thing you have to be careful of when you're doing this is the footage afterwards. So if you're popping in all these images over that audio, you're adjusting where the rest of that original video clip is laying with respect to the audio. So you have to make sure that if you are transitioning to a scene where somebody's talking or where the audio is very specific to the scene, you gotta make sure that you realign whatever remaining video there is to the audio or it's gonna be out of sync and nobody's gonna know what's going on. So we definitely wanna take that into consideration because I did this as a static uh, shot. It was really easy because the audio could basically exist anywhere along that footage. But we went in and were able to add some additional images. We do that a couple times here. We'll kind of speed through the rest of this just so you get a sense of, uh, you know, what we had to do to make this video. And uh, again, add a couple more pictures and get all that taken care of. Again, here I've just grabbed an image for a product that I mentioned in the video. I'm going to include that in there just for additional information to help people see uh, exactly what it is that I'm talking about. And you'll see that by default that Ken Burns effect, which just has that slow zoom uh, on the image, allows that to look a little more interesting. Again, we have our final clip that we're going to just we're going to transition. Uh, make sure that. Uh, looks good and starts where it's supposed to and allows us to wrap up that video and again we're seeing where the audio ends and how that transition looks to make sure everything looks good and then we'll take a look at what that finished product looks like here in just a moment hey it's Dan with we love RV camping I just wanted to make a quick video because if you've been experiencing problems with your AC in your travel trailer or camper I wanted to share this with you because this could potentially save you a lot of money now when this first started happening I was a little bit concerned that our air conditioner was going to need to be replaced and that costs hundreds of dollars but I was happy to figure out that the real solution was a whole lot less expensive all right, so here's what was going on with our particular situation. At first, we noticed that the air stopped getting cold. We were not getting the cold air we were expecting to get from our AC unit. And then another thing started happening. On some of the hotter days, we were actually tripping the breaker for the AC unit in the camper. So if you've been experiencing this problem where your breaker is tripping and you're not getting cold air, videos. All right, I'll so see you on the road. we're good to go, we're gonna click done in the upper left-hand corner. And that's going to give us some options on how we want to export this. In this case, we're going to go on Save to Video, and we're going to select 4K and export this footage as 4K. It was recorded in 4K. We'll output it as 4K, and we'll be able to load an up uh, a 4K video to YouTube. Allow this to export, and uh, when it's good to go, we're going to upload it to YouTube. Now, one of the things to consider, I always upload from the camera roll. I like to export it first and then go to the YouTube app and actually upload. So you click on the little camera in the upper right-hand corner, then you click on video, and then you're able to select the video. We're not going to trim anything here because we've already edited this video. And then we're going to click next. We're going to make sure that the privacy is set to unlisted so this doesn't get published yet. And rather than enter all of this other information, I always like to just upload the video and not confuse it or complicate the issue and make sure the video gets uploaded. 
This is going to go through preparing, then it's going to go through uploading with the percentage count, and then it's going to go into processing. When it's Once you get to 100% uploading and it switches to processing, you're good. Your upload has successfully made it to YouTube, and you don't have to worry about it not getting there. If you're doing a bunch of other stuff here, depending on your connection, how good your internet is, this could take a while, and you want to make sure that uh, you just focus on getting the content to YouTube. And once it's there, then you got all the time you want to edit uh, the title and description and keyword phrases and all of that. And as we close in on 100%, it's going to transition again over to processing and it's going to do its thing. But at this point, it's on YouTube. We have successfully moved it from our local device to YouTube's storage. So we know that the video is up there. So now you can access it from desktop or your phone, however you want to do it to do your title and description and all those things. I hope you found this video helpful. If there is something about iMovie and editing on your iPhone that I didn't cover, make sure you let me know in the comments below. If you wanna see more videos that can help you simplify YouTube and help you get more views and subscribers and grow your channel, be sure to click this playlist over here. And hey, if you're not subscribed, that round button below me is where you do it. Be sure to click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss future content. I'll see you in the next video.